Welcome back to the program. We now welcome back Josh Gruber, acting Beaufort County Administrator. Josh, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Hey, it's very happy that you're here. Josh, I understand you want to promote the transportation sales tax referendum. Go ahead and talk about it. Thank you. Yes. Uh, this coming November, Beaufort County Council has voted to put a transportation sales tax on the general election ballot. And what that transportation sales tax is going to call for is a one penny sales tax that would be imposed for a period of four years, uh, which we're hoping would generate about $120 million to be used for transportation uh, related projects within Beaufort County. Uh, there are three specific projects that are identified within that referendum, so it's very narrowly tailored. Uh, it's limited to just those projects, but those projects are all very significant projects within the county. Uh, the first one is going to raise $80 million to be used as local match uh, for the, hopefully, what was going to be the replacement of the bridges leading onto and off of Hilton Head Island. Uh, for anybody who's traveled that corridor anytime recently, they know how busy and how congested those areas can be trying to get onto and off of the island, especially during the peak hours of the morning and the evening rush hour. So that is something that we're working to hopefully try and create additional capacity through that area. The additional capacity is going to allow for a faster uh, commute time, uh, which is going to be highly beneficial to that area. So $80 million for the uh, replacement of the Hilton Head bridges. We're also then looking at $30 million dollars for roadway improvements for the Ladies Island Corridor. And that's essentially US 21 from the Woods Memorial Bridge to the Chowan Creek Bridge. And again, anybody who's driven that corridor anytime recently, especially in the mornings or in the evenings, understands just how congested that area is with traffic. And so there's a series of projects that have been identified as part of a study that was completed a couple of years ago uh, that would be funded with that $30 million. And then lastly, there's about $10 million that would be used for the installation of sidewalks and multi-use pathways uh, along various roads all throughout Beaufort County. Uh, so there are, there are projects that are going to touch and concern every major portion of Beaufort County, and then there are two very large projects that are going to address what we believe are the most pressing traffic concerns facing Beaufort County today. Josh, everybody wants to see an improvement to their personal commute. How did you identify areas for improvement on this deal? Sure. So a lot of what we look at is traffic studies, uh, numbers, and then again, uh, for anybody who's just driven those areas, you know that there's uh, some concerns there because if you've driven them, you know how congested it is and how long it can take you to get through those areas. Uh, we have a regional transportation model, and so that takes into account all the daily traffic loads. Uh, for example, just recently, we almost hit 70,000 vehicles in one day crossing uh, the uh, bridges to and from Hilton Head Island. And so with that kind of volume of traffic, the infrastructure that's in place just can't support it from a capacity standpoint. Um, we actually have some very interesting statistics that we got from the, the South Carolina Department of Transportation that show that 80% of the time there is more traffic on US 278 going on to and off of Hilton Head than there actually is on I-95 crossing the Georgia-South Carolina border. So again, that's not all the time, but 80% of the time there's more traffic on that roadway than there is on I-95. And so we know that something needs to be done to increase the capacity in that area. Josh, we're inside of a minute, but while that's a tremendous stat, tell me, why is this going to be a, a consumption tax, a sales tax, instead of a property tax? Well, the sales tax is actually what we would argue probably the, the best way for Beaufort County citizens to fund this kind of program. When you look at the other options that are available to us, uh, bonding the debt or doing some kind of other direct debt, that 100% of that debt service would be upon the property owners within Beaufort County. By utilizing a sales tax, we're able to tap into outside revenue, and that's, that's revenue that's generated by tourists and visitors who are coming to this area and utilizing those roadways as well, but they may not own property here, so they're not paying property taxes. So by instituting a sales tax, we have the ability to capture that revenue, and it's, you know, it's somewhere between 35% to 60%, depending upon who you ask, uh, of out-of-state and out-of-county residents who would be helping to share in that burden of paying for these transportation-related projects. All right. Josh Gruber is acting Beaufort County Administrator. Josh, thanks for your work in our community. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, a pleasure.